They bring her flowers. Thank you for the five month resub. Put the game on easy and disable aggressive NPCs. small plastic can which at the time of writing contains 47 red pills You only have one life, yeah, okay, no thanks. I don't know, should I play on safe, you think, or should I play on Euclid? On Euclid, save locations are actually very infrequent, would not recommend. Okay. The save system is bullshit. Custom. But you, okay, so you can set it to, you could save anywhere. I obviously don't want permadeath. I don't know if I want aggressive NPCs. gives you no time to read lore. You don't want it. Okay. the lore from Vati. Okay, I guess I'll just start. Why am I so slow? up the paper on the desk. On behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one month working period in one of our top secret research facilities. Unfortunately, the exact details of your upcoming work assignments are highly classified, but please read this document carefully to make your stay as safe and pleasant as possible. 
Each of the Class D personnel have been given a, has been given a new numerical designation. Step out of your cell. Dude, I'm reading this letter. Your personal designation is D9341. Please memorize your designation as the staff will use it to refer to you from now on. During your stay, you will be taking part in various testing procedures. Some of them can be extremely dangerous if appropriate precautions are not taken. This is why we need your full cooperation at all times in all circumstances. Highly trained researchers and scientists know how to minimize. Well, I I blame the game. <laughs> hey balance thank you for the tier 2 27 months thanks dude <laughs> if everything goes as planned meaning that we have your full cooperation you will be released at the end of the mom month and you will be granted an absolute pardon for all your previous offenses I'm sure I'll survive this. I'll need a request to open up cell 311. Hey, they've got some work for you. Do me a favor and just follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to uh, exterminate any disobedient test subjects, so I recommend not doing anything stupid. Attention. Site Director. Rosewood, please report to Administration's Complex. Um, so you have seen any good movies lately? Uh, I, I don't really watch movies. Oh, okay. No, what about video games? You know, that reminds me, somebody should make a video game based on this place. Why would anyone do that? Uh, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of a cool idea. Well, I don't play video games either. get in there and follow all the instructions and uh, you'll probably be fine. Oh, and by the way. Oh. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time and the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. Origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. And then a in the event of an attack, personnel are to observe Class 4 hazardous object containment procedures. The reddish-brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. Is he in here?
I died. <laughs> I didn't blink! I didn't mean to blink. How do I not blink? <laughs> I don't even know how to save. Wait, save anywhere? Do I just have to press escape? Whoops. Save with F5. Skip intro. Uh, I don't really know how. Was there a button to do it? Is there a way? Is there a way to skip it? a lot. Yeah, I don't really know where I am right now. Or what... that dude I didn't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. If the lights go out, you're just dead. You just die instantly. But if you look away from it, you die too. What do you even do, man? You just die.
fucked. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked. Make a save. this way. <laughs> I got pulled into it when I crouched. <laughs> many doors man holy moly okay need a key card teddy bear
Got a key card, Jim? Nice friggin' sight, I got lost four times just trying to find the main security hub. What the hell is this? Is with this place? I tried to warn you, it was a modular design theory com command cooked up. Sec set sections installed as needed and where needed. It was supposed to make expansion recovery a lot easier, but it didn't really catch on. You'll get lost a couple times, but you figure it out. Okay. What even is this? Alright, what is SCP-1123? It's to be kept in a hermetically sealed container in an argon gas atmosphere when not being tested. During storage, temperature should be between 20 and something Celsius. Yes. It's a human skull missing the lower mandible and all its teeth. Across the forehead is modern... Mare script? Written in human blood that translates as remember. When a subject approaches SCP-1123, they will report anomalous sensory phenomena, including smells such as cooking meat or ashes, sounds such as soft crying, low heartbeats or breathing, or distant footsteps, and tactile responses such as grit in the eyes or glass splinters in the sole of the foot. When subjects touch the surface of SCP-1123, they will experience a dissociative fuse state. Initiation of the fuse state appears instantaneous. The fuse is characterized by confusion, disorientation, and adoption of a new identity and memories which consist of knowledge, including language previously unknown to the subject. <laughs> what? It's like, turns you into somebody else? Got a gas mask. Oh, fuck, dude. He caught me, god damn it. back down. <laughs> hey, Sergeant Kills. It's just like a, it's a free horror game.
Okay. It's kind of like a shortcut, I suppose. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't really been streaming during US hours very much. Well, actually, no, my sleep schedule is pretty fixed now, so my my nut my my schedule is pretty normal now. That was a human. <laughs> Show yourself. It's like a fucking giant dog. Show yourself. Show yourself. They mimic human speech to lure prey. Yeah, well, definitely caught me off guard the first time. Oh, I definitely thought it was a human. Not that thing. <laughs> We got a hand. Died to it. that hand. Run. <laughs> Show yourself.
there? What the hell are you? Hey, who's there? What the hell is that? <laughs> I just wanted to look at it. Was this door open before? Oh, there you are. I thought I lost you for a moment there. Do I, I wonder if I need to pull that lever. A memory access violation? Wait, what do you mean? Like, my game's gonna crash? Or like, is that like a... What does that actually mean? Gotta bait it. Oh, that actually works. Okay. Empty cup, level one key card, night vision guy. Oh. SCP-939 are endothermic pack-based predators which display atrophy of various systems similar to tro tro troglobitic organisms. The skins of SCP-939 are highly permeable to moisture and translucent red. They average 2.2 meters tall, standing upright, and weigh an average of 250 kil kilograms. Each of their four limbs end in three finger claws with a fourth op opposable digit and are covered in sete, which considerably augment climbing ability. Their heads are elongated, devoid of even vestigial eyes or sockets, and contain no brain casing. The jaws of SCP-939 are lined with red, faintly luminescent, fang like teeth up to 60 centimeters in length and encircled by heat-sensitive pit organ. The 
primary method of luring prey is the imitation of human speech in the voices of prior victims. So many different ways to go, man. Gave me an achievement for going this way. Oh no. Guys, I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, all right, this is a puzzle. I guess it's not really a puzzle. What's this? Can I like throw away these notes or something? Oh. SCP-372 is to be contained in a cell lined with reinforced plexiglass. Embedded into each of the four walls of the cell will be one infrared motion detector. In the event of a containment breach, an alert will be sounded that all personnel should watch for any brief flickering movements in the corner of their eyes and to report immediately if one is sighted. It's a long creature, or it's a creature of unknown genus, approximately two meters long from head to tail, weighing approximately 45 kilos. It has a long, thin body with eight pairs of narrow limbs. Analysis has shown that its muscle fibers are allowing for extremely fast and precise movements. Every part of the body is abnormally flexible, and the limbs are coated with small fibers that cling to almost any solid surface. In the place of eyes or ears, has something. This sensory organ is capable not only of echolocation, but also of detecting energy transfers, such as electrical impulses in the brains of- Oh my god, what is happening? Okay. Has learned to time this movement to those pulses, predicting the movements of any being around it. It uses this, this technique to hide, either by hiding behind the head of a person looking for it, or by hiding in their scotomas, blind spots, and saccades, clipping during eye movement. 2941 is on this note. Hey, were you at the security meeting this morning, weren't you? Or you were at the security meeting meeting this morning, weren't you? Don't tell me you skipped it again. Now you need me to give you this week's door code. This time it wasn't entirely my fault. I hadn't received my new personal code for some reason, and I had to get up there and get it myself. You have no idea how many hoops they made me jump through before they finally gave it to me. I can only imagine. This new security protocol is even more of a clusterfuck than the one before. Tell me about it, but anyway, the code, I don't want to go through the maintenance tunnels again. Don't tell me you actually went through the maintenance tunnels just to get past that security door. Yeah, I did, and I don't want to do that again. That place is amazing. Whoever designed it should be fed to 682. To the code? Actually, we're no longer allowed to send any security codes through the internet, which you'd know if you hadn't been at the meeting. I'll stop by in an hour and tell you the code. This is getting ridiculous. Franklin apparently isn't familiar with the concept of encryption. I mentioned it at the meeting. You're not going to take any chances until this cover or until this overload is over and everything is back to normal. I guess he has a point. He does. 
Anyway, I have some work to do now. See you in an hour or so. What the fuck was that? I know, I have a key card. Maybe I gotta go back here. Lobos raid, maybe. <laughs> Hello, people. If the <laughs> There's a raid. What's going on, guys? Why am I so... I'm just waddling. My radio, no, dude. I... Thank you for the raid, Lobos. What's going on, everybody? Hi, guys. I'm playing a spoopy game. <laughs> Damn, I like that music. We need to check the other two channels, though. Oh, there's only one. I don't think they can actually hear the radio. I don't know if this is where I need to be. I, I feel like I'm not even supposed to be up here right now. Well, what is this? Well, it doesn't seem like I can pull that. One of these days, one of uh, one of our viewers is gonna get a is gonna get world record in marbles, Lobos. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm my internet's having. Oh god. All right, my internet's having some issues.
It's like playing the lottery. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back. Hopefully, all of my internet issues should be fixed by tomorrow, I hope. Let's see, do any of these doors open with key code? at the start. Yeah, you're probably right. Alright, well, I guess I have to go back this way. Doesn't seem like there's any way to avoid the backtracking, as far as I can tell. Streaming when the sun is out, yeah. You think Comcast knows how much you shit talk them? Probably. Well, <laughs> at least I mean I know that they look. I know they record the calls, so uh, maybe there's like a note on. I don't. Who knows, man. There may be a note on my account. The game is randomly generated, so there will be backtracking. Oh my god! What the hell is that? Hey, who's there? Oh god! What the hell is that? These enemies. This is the right way. It is, okay. We're in business, guys. Need to turn down the volume a little bit it's a it's a bit loud for me should it'll be the same for you guys though Do I need to use my level? Oh, I'm back here.
I wonder if he ever comes, if Euclid ever comes back here. Dead. No. Stay out. Get back. No. <laughs> Nothing you can do. <laughs> Wait, am I dead? I survived! Where am I? I'm so damaged though. I need heals. Oh, it's the bear! The whereabouts of SCP-1048 are currently unknown, though it is still believed to be somewhere in sight. Something. Subject is to be secured for containment, but any creation of SCP-1048 should be destroyed on sight, unless further evidence warrants less extreme actions. No teddy bears are to be allowed in sight so-and-so to prevent any confusion or mistaken identity. It's a small teddy bear approximately 33 centimeters in height. Your testing composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities that make it discernible from a non-sapient teddy bear. The subject is capable of moving of its own accord and can, can communicate through a small range of gestures. The more anomalous behavior of SCP-1048 was not observed until approximately seven months after it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials, by a process that is yet to be observed directly by Foundation staff. Dr. Carver has suggested that SCP-1048 uses its endearing qualities to lull those around it into a false sense of security, allowing it to collect materials to produce these creations. Currently, there are three known creations of SCP-1048 designated A, B, and C. 
The nature of these creations have been in stark contract to his general behavior, as all have exhibited extreme violence towards humans. Damn, he's building an army! heal myself? Dude, I'm so, like, fucked up. Gas mask? <laughs> That's a lot better. I need a med kit so bad, dude. This is, this is, ugh, my eyes. Please. Every fucking door needs three, three level three clearance. There's gonna be a med kit in here, guys. I have faith. I don't think- I think I'm dead.
I'm fucked, fellas. It's over for me. I think I have to restart. <laughs> not find any med kits, dude. Oh right. I can't even get I can't even go through this thing anymore. Unlucky dude. choice. Basically soft locked myself. Thanks for the prime sub. To be honest, it's kind of nice that it's different every time. No, uh, my internet. Well, I my internet's upgraded to gigabit, but I have to. Attention, all personnel. I have to wait until tomorrow morning for somebody to come out and fix. Something's wrong with the line outside. There's like, there's like noise on the line or on the tap or I don't really know exactly what the issue is, but something's fucked up. fast. Yeah, the SCP universe is pretty cool. Wait. What? What actually happened to the card? Is that a glitch? Teddy took it? 
What's the goal? Escape the building? Honestly, dude, I have no idea. I played this game once as a kid, but this is like very different as to what I remember. The only thing I remember about playing this game as a kid is the neck snapping, dude. I don't really remember any of the other guys. my key ears are growing all over my body <laughs> I'm dead Thank you for the five month resub, man. Thank you very much. I can't afford to take damage like that. I need to be on full HP. Isn't there a key card I found somewhere when I was in this area before? Hmm. I don't know what happened to that key card. I don't know if the key. Hmm. I feel like I missed something in this area.
time for more marbles. No, not quite yet. We may do some marbles, though, in a bit. We'll see. down. key card is it's just gone <laughs> I guess an SCP stole it or something but I don't really know what that means I ignored the skull I've already seen the skull I've already been in this room before Touch the skull, you can't get in the room. If I had a key card, I could, but I don't have a key card. Oh. I guess we'll just run in circles until we find the key card. Not really sure what else to do. This is kind of stupid. I kind of just want people to tell me where the key card went, because the game doesn't. Well, I don't know. The, it doesn't seem like the game gives you any indication, but maybe it does. There's more key cards along the way. Well, I can't. I don't know where any of them are.
Oh no, man. I guess I have to restart. I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, yeah, no, the hallway is supposed to be infinite. I understand that. It's just, I don't think the hallway is supposed to eat your keycard. back I guess Let's see if the cards here
Yo, which way is which? Oh my fucking god, this is so confusing. This is where I came from. So confusing, man. Still no key cards. <laughs> Rip. I think the shortest way out is through the southeast wing. Follow me. Did you hear that? I hope it wasn't. way out is through the southeast wing. Follow me. Three batteries? Do I need that many? <laughs> Oh, I'm here. Keep these all. Yeah, I think the security clearance is always the same on these. Um, I wonder if there's a vending machine I can use. Get me. Level two? Oh shit. Excuse me? Oh! Why is he able to break that all of a sudden? Why didn't he break it earlier? He could have killed me so easy. He's not very smart. They 
call him Peanut. Intake, let's see. Oh god. I don't know why I'm bothering. I'm the only one alive anymore, I think. Or maybe just sane? Or am I even that much at this point? I feel like I have to leave something, some shard of myself behind. I've seen the others. I know I'll most likely not even leave a bot. I'll most likely not even leave a body. Maybe that's what this is. Oh my god, this is hard to read. Shivering myself off, leaving behind breadcrumbs of my brain scattered and tattered i keep fearing things in the dark it's almost worse than what's in the light i taste metal <laughs> yeah no i'm reloading <laughs> Like, the thing is, there's no point in doing that, because even if you survive, you end up at, like, 10% health, and then you just die, and then you're just screwed anyways, so... Yo. Oh my god, a first aid kit. We're in business. So wait, if I have a level 2 key card, that also gives me level 1 clearance, right? So I don't need a level 1. <clears throat> Let's see. Input, 1 kilogram of steel. Pile of steel chunks of various sizes appearing to be cut by laser. So wait, what is this? I'm confused. This guy. So, he's like... Fuck this guy, he's so fast. Can you even lose him? I was trying to go fast. There was nothing in here, right? This is just the machine. Put in a chimp, badly mutilated corpse showing signs of crushing and cutting with high heat. Wait, what if I put in the key card?
Fuck you, dude. Master card? Is that what does that even mean? Did I get a credit card? Are you serious? I got rid of my level 2 key card for a master card? What the fuck? Why is this dude so fast? Seems like he stopped chasing me. Okay. If I put a- so I guess there's- you have to find the level 3 then? I don't know, I guess you can't upgrade to level 3 unless- One, one, fine. You upgraded the one to two? Yeah, but maybe it doesn't, it probably goes from one to two and it doesn't go from two to three. So what, if you, if you put, so can you just soft lock the game if you put it on the wrong setting, I guess? <laughs> you can. That seems like pretty bad game design. 
I mean, I know it's a free game, but... God's ba God's basement is terrible. You can reverse the master card? Oh yeah, maybe. Try to put the card in the wall, you can't. Oh. I swear, I thought I tried to put the master card in the wallet and it didn't work, but... At least frickin' Larry stopped chasing me. Sometimes the camera just like randomly jerks to the side, I don't really know why. To be kept in a darkened room at all times, if the object is exposed to light or seen by personnel using a light frequency other than infrared. Okay. How long have I been streaming? Uh, I've been streaming for five hours and 20 minutes. I streamed for like five hours earlier today though. So I've streamed like 10 hours today. Uh, I'll actually be right back. I'm just gonna go use the restroom. Be back in a minute.
Okay, I'm back. <coughs> Let's see. If the object is exposed to light or seen by personnel using a light frequency other than infrared, remove personnel for mental health screening and immediate physical op and, Im and an immediate physical. Object is to be encased in an iron shielded box suspended from the ceiling with a minimum clearance of two and a half meters from the floor, walls, and any opening. <clears throat> SCP-12 was retrieved by archaeologist K.M. Sandoval during the excavation of a northern Italian tomb destroyed in a recent storm. The object, a piece of handwritten musical score entitled On Mount Gath Bogotha, part of a larger set of sheet music, appears to be incomplete. The red-black ink was later found to be human blood from multiple subjects. Following initial investigations, multiple test subjects were allowed access to the score. In every case, the subjects mut mutilated themselves in order to use their own blood to finish the piece, resulting in subsequent symptoms of psychosis of m and massive trauma. The subjects who managed to finish a section of the piece immediately committed suicide, declaring the piece to be impossible to complete. Attempts to perform the music have resulted in a di disagreeable cacophony, each instrumental part having no correlation or harmony with the other instruments. Man, SCP, I, the SCP games are so cool just because there's so many like unique. self-narration is kind of killing that back. Yeah, well, I wanted to see what it was like. I'm dead. That hitbox is pretty big. Alright. I feel like 
there's some stuff I missed back there. I can always come back if need be. It's just annoying to run back through this area. <laughs> the dogs are so fast, man. What the hell are you? <coughs> Alright. We made it. I hope there weren't any- I don't think there's any keycard areas key card doors in that first spot. Let's go this way first. I don't think we can interact. Right. Wait a second. Larry. Not in the mood, dude. I need this dude to just fuck off. I think if I go up the elevator, he should go away. Put the other cards in my wallet? What cards? Fucking serious, dude. What?
I was supposed to do that. <laughs> it does it does say do not touch? Looks like I'm dying. A medic hazard. <laughs> oh, that was weird. <laughs> Why is there another fucking navigator? There's so many fucking notes, I want to read them! I'm gonna touch the skull again. You stop Larry, you just run away long enough. Apparently you can't go in the elevators though, he just destroys you if you do that. Also, my mouse sensitivity is like fucked. I like can't turn my fucking head. What the fuck is going on? Shit. You know what? 
I'm gonna die here anyways, though. That's the thing. as hell. Dude, I don't know if I even need to hold on to this hand. It'd just be a complete waste. My freaking documents. Radio. Why am I not getting any signal? I don't know where I'm going, guys. I feel like I'm just... Nothing happens when you insert... There's an... I, there's an area that I just can't remember how to get to. Look, there's nothing down here. SCP-3. 
must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682. Only able to cause massive physical damage. Uh, should be contained within a 5x5x5 five by five by five chamber. Acid resistant steel plate lining. Any attempts of him to move speaker breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force. A large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin, it appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with 079 during their limited time of exposure. It appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. Interviews? It has always been a observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. Its physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. It gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of its nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. Regenerative capabilities and resilience are stag staggering and has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. I don't think I've seen this dude yet. Oh, I have two of the same document. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did they give- why- what? Why are there so many of the same one? SCP-096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 in height. Subject shows very little muscle mass with preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. It is not yet known whether 096 is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. It's normally extremely docile, however, when someone views its face, whether it be directly or with via, uh, via video recording, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. It will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. Approximately one to two minutes after the first viewing, 096 will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point on be referred to as SCP-0961. At this point, no known material or method can impede its progress. The actual position of SCP-0961 does not seem to affect its response. It seems to have an innate sense of location. Upon arriving at its location, we'll proceed to kill and 100% of cases have left no traces of z of the target. <laughs> Who is this? Is this the guy that was chasing me? Is I No, this isn't Larry, is it? This is somebody else. You don't want this chasing you. I don't know how many of the SCP creatures are actually in this game, but man, oh, did I did I go back down? I feel like it would be really cool if a triple A studio Um I don't know I don't know if SCP is like public domain or what. But if like a It'd be cool if somebody wanted to to work on like a really well done SCP game. made by authors on a wiki. I know, I'm just saying there's like a lot of cool ideas, is what I mean. Hey Purity, thank you for the 26 month resub. I'm extremely confused what I'm missing, guys. 
There's an there's a section where I just I can't remember how to get there. Navigator, guess. I have a level three card, dude. before. Oh, what the... hmm. Anybody online? This is surveillance room six. Please state your business. This is assistant Ross. I'm locked inside containment room five and I've only got level two clearance. Are you able to send help? I'm hearing noises from behind the door. Don't know what it is, but I have to get out of here. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we can't get anyone there right now. Half of the security is unreachable and those we've gotten in contact with seem to be busy with keeping themselves alive or getting out. I need help now. Hello? Are you still there? 15 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, she dead. I don't think the MasterCard's used for anything. I think it's just a tr I think it's just a troll, I assume. Can I grab this? Uh, I don't know. What is this? What even is this? Oh no, she's level two. Keep that picture. Scan it. What, was there a QR on there? Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's the girl who was asking for help on the computer. Okay. I have to go back to that freaking machine thing. Which I think...
There's something strange going on here. The cycle seems to have sped up significantly. One of the horned figures has already appeared and is currently having a dinner with her. Hey, I'm crazy. Thanks for the prime sub, man. The hell is happening? God damn it, Larry! Get away! <laughs> Alright, it doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Good. This is the one that requires level four, right? Yeah. You follow me for a long time. Well. It's not like there's anything I could do about it now, so whatever, dude. I'm 
to buckle up. The fuck was that? this for now, dude. disappeared actually. I don't know if I'm like partially damaged right now. I don't know if I should use a first aid kit. I just like don't have enough fucking space. I wish I had more inventory dude. This is actually really annoying. I wanted to put the SCP in the... Yeah, I don't even think that did anything. I don't need the hand. <laughs> it's to be stored in a reinforced high security locker that is to be accessible only to level 4 personnel due to several incidents of misuse. Seemingly nothing more than a green jade ring. 714 has been shown to be able to expand and contract to perfectly fit the finger of anyone who touches it. Though this is the least important of its properties, SCP-714 has, has several major effects. Exhaustion, compulsion to rest sleep. Within minutes of putting it on, wearers report feeling worn out, physically and mentally exhausted. Slowed reactions, sluggish movement, subjects suffer from severely impaired reaction times. Reduced mental capacity. Seemingly as part of the mental fatigue, anyone wearing it claims that they think slowly or may even have trouble finding the words to adequately communicate that they think that they cannot think as clearly as normal. Mental shield. As a dubious benefit of seemingly reduced mental capacity, wearers of 714 show abnormally high resilience to memetic and mental influences, particularly commands or immediate effects. Weaker influences may be totally nullified by this. Chemical tolerance. Just as their minds block memetic influences, the bodies of SCP-714 wears slow. Where it slows and nullifies the effects of various chemicals on the body. Fully poisonous or toxic substances are generally not hindered, but those that spe specifically impede or enhance neural and or nervous functions in some way, such as stimulants or sedatives, have very diminished effects. Okay. Interesting.
clip the clipboard's a nice addition, at least they thought of that. Small spherical ornately carved locket made of a polished silver material. The ornate carvings do not seem to serve any function. It is unknown whether 427's outer casing was crafted by sentience or not. It was created after placing a pill of 500 in the input booth of 914 and using the fine setting. Oh. <clears throat> See, that's why I wanted to keep the this potato thing. I thought maybe I could turn the potato into something else. Uh, it displays no unusual activity when closed. When opened, a small glowing orb is visible at the center. The orb emits no radiation or energy aside from the visible spectrum. When 427 is, is opened and exposed to biological tissue, it rapidly regenerates cellular damage and is somehow able to purge invading compounds or infections. As a standard of measure, the common cold takes 3 to 10 days to be worked through the human immune system and eventually removed. In the presence of an opened 427, this time is reduced to 2 to 4 minutes. Healing abilities are directional, so anything not in line of sight with the central orb experiences no effects. However, long-term exposure produces a significant health hazard. As a locket heals damage, it optimizes the body's natural systems. Resistance to disease and toxins increased by 500% compared to accepted LD50 or death rate uh, after a total of 15 minutes of exposure. And a thousand percent after something. After 15 minutes of exposure, muscular systems begin something, <laughs> increasing strength and pain tolerance by 200-300%. Other systems continue to optimize. It's fucking blood. Why is there blood stain? Fasty personal personnel exposed to the device for over an hour total began mutating into shapeless mash of mass of tissue. <laughs> That's not good. Common cold is a viral infectious disease of the upper resp respiratory tract which affects primarily the nose. Symptoms include coughing, sore throat, runny nose, sneezing, and fever which usually resolve in 7 to 10 days, with some symptoms lasting up to 3 weeks. Alright, put on the ring. Alright, upper respiratory tract infections are loosely divided by the areas they affect. Dude, can you stop? Alright, I can't even read this thing. Fuck off. Is there a note for this one? What does this one do? Oh, fuck you, Larry. Way. I don't know if I need the blue key. I probably don't even need that either. I am the cure. Fuck!
fucking bro. Stay over there. What the fuck? I haven't seen that guy in so long! I didn't even make a save. Oops. Is he able to open that? Just opens whatever fucking door he wants. Dude's annoying as fuck. Hey, Aliona Love, thank you for the 7 month resub. And also Jelly Pop, thank you for the Prime sub. Hmm. Another MasterCard. A ten percent chance? Is there a is there a guaranteed way to get it? I don't know. This seems really stupid. I have no idea where to find the fi the, f the final upgrade. Unless I need to like combine all three cards or something. 
maybe? I can try to convert some other stuff. I didn't try putting the navigator in. Let's see what that does. Upgrade what do what do you what does it even mean to upgrade your stuff? That doesn't even make any sense to me. I can see you my I feel like this shit is just like trial and error. It said tech. Oh, ultimate. Larry, you gotta come and ruin everything, you friggin' butthole. of AIDS. <laughs> hmm. I don't think there's anything else I could have upgraded though, really. This guy's not even tracked. What even is this thing? Oh my god, this is fuck. Is most effective.
wear the potato. I'm just gonna die if I wear the potato. Maybe I can wear the potato. And I can put on the ring. Can I take off the potato? can't sprint. <laughs> oh, there we go. Er, wait, what? Alright, it's the ring. Well, that's a good way to get rid of Larry. Just put on the potato. <sighs> How the hell am I supposed to get the level 4 clearance? There must be an area I missed. Mokami, thank you for the 24 month reset. to go back here. Just need to get away from that guy. The hitbox and the lightning is actually surprisingly precise. You get killed really easily if you're just like a little bit to the side of it. Or a little bit too close. Like how Why does the FPS drop so hard? Because Comcast sucks fucking dongers. tech at my house yesterday. He did absolutely nothing. 
And now I have another tech coming tomorrow morning to... I have a line tech coming tomorrow morning to fix the tap outside. So... I don't know, cause right, the thing is, right, right now I have my, I have a modem that's ready to receive gigabit internet, and I'm still getting like six, I'm getting sixty down and like three up, right now, and I'm, st I'm still dry, even, and I, I'm getting three upload speed, and I have my bit rate for the stream set to three thousand, and I'm still like dropping frames, so I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Something's seriously wrong. So if the if the line tech doesn't fix it tomorrow, then I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be fu I'm gonna be fucking pissed, dude. Well, I don't know. Apparently something's wrong with the with the line outside our house, Maxi, but I don't I don't know if they're just lying. I mean, if if it's not fixed after the line tech comes to a line there's somebody coming at eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow. If it's not fixed after they come tomorrow, then I'm I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I, I I guess I'll just they're definitely lying. Why why would they be lying though? Like you I like I understand Comcast likes to fuck over their customers, but like you really think they would they would just I just upgraded to gigabit internet. Yeah, no, it's not it's not symmetrical. It's a gigabit down and like 30 it's like 45 up or something, but that's not the point. Right now, my speeds are still just absolute trash. They shouldn't be that bad. Uh, so, I don't know. I... They lie to get more money from you and they don't have to send you the service? I mean... Like... I just... I feel like... You guys, I, I fucking hate Comcast. Don't don't get me wrong, but I do. There had. Like, I feel like they can't they can't be that bad of a company to to allow me to upgrade to gigabit and then just give me the exact same internet speeds and say, oh, and th and then they're what they're gonna. They're gonna say, "Oh, there's an issue with the with your line outside your house." We'll, you know, we'll have a tech come out and look at it, and that's what the tech said yesterday. So, like, I assume that's the case. If if a, if somebody comes out tomorrow and it's not fixed after that, then yeah, like they're full of shit. But I don't know, man. You bought snake oil packages. Dude, I know it's not fiber. Jesus fucking Christ. You're a fucking idiot. God. All of you guys and I shouldn't have even talked about this. Everybody in chat's just fucking annoying me. <clears throat> like, I know it's not Google Fiber. That's not the fucking point. It's still way be- it's still gonna be way better than my fucking current internet. Yeah, not everybody in chat. Sorry, I just you know I'm not, you know I'm not talking about everybody.
Yeah, I mean... <laughs> the... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... I'm optimistic. I'm gonna assume that... Like... If they're actually just throttling me, then something is f so fucking... It's so... Something is so fucked up at Com on Comcast's end. Like... If they... If they allow me... If they allow me to upgrade to Gigabit and then they just throttle me... That's fucking bullshit, man. But really, though... If it's not if it's not fixed after the dude comes tomorrow morning, I I don't actually know what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna get charged for the service tax or the service tech. Whitwick's got banned from Cox Twitter after he kept getting throttled by them. <laughs> Move to a stay with Google Fire. I don't know. I have... I, I just can't wait until tomorrow, like, nobody shows up. And, like, nobody comes to fix... Nobody comes to fix it. I have, like, a ticket. The dude gave me a ticket number for the fucking tech. So, like... I can't- I can't wait. I'm gonna call tomorrow and I'm gonna give them the ticket number and they're gonna be like, that's not a valid ticket number. Yeah, uh, sorry dude. There's nobody that's supposed to come. <laughs> do the Xfinity speed test? Why would I do the Xfinity speed test? Could be a legitimate line issue yeah what thread that's what i'm saying i think it is because there's no way they would like i i guess thro comcast maybe they do throttle but i don't think they would throttle somebody to three megabit upload and 60 down if they're paying for the best package but yeah if i run the xfinity speed test right now guys i get like 250 down and like, I get like two, yeah, it's like 250 down and like 25 up. And then I run, I run a normal speed test. It's like 50 and like three. It's insane. I don't know. I had a tech come out yesterday. I had a tech come out yesterday and he like, he checked some stuff outside and he said, he said that there was like an issue with the, he said there was an issue with the tap and the line outside. So there's a dude coming tomorrow morning. Let's just leave it at that. Hopefully tomorrow morning everything's all right. I really hope so. I really do. <clears throat> I fucking hate this guy, dude. Lower bitrate? Dude, my bitrate's at 3,000. What do you want me to lower it to? A fucking potato? Dude, telling, telling them that, like, that your livelihood depends on it, like, they don't even... It doesn't even- that doesn't even matter to them, dude. They're just like- oh, sorry, can't help. <laughs> this guy is a fucking 
douchebag. I don't know where to go, guys. Hey, Baseball Tiger, thank you for the 19-month resub. No, I don't rent equipment from Comcast. I have my own. I went out and bought my own modem. Cox is just terrible, from what I've heard. seem like the type that would rent a modem. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you think I want gar Comcast garbage fucking equipment? No Your Comcast tech? <laughs> Andrew Malera? <laughs> I I do know what the I do know what the Comcast text name is on Twitch. So if if he if he says something in Twitch on chat, I'll I'll fucking I'll fucking see that shit. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <sighs> I don't know where to find this. This fucking doctor is relentless. He never leaves you alone. Seems like an odd thing to know. <laughs> we were just talking about Twitch. I'm going the same way I explored before. It's because I have no idea what I'm doing. Apparently there's a level four security card, which you can get without doing the RNG thing. Is it in here maybe? Oh, you piece of trash. Play secret lab instead, why? Oh, this is just, you're just, yeah, you're just dying. You can move in this room. Yeah. You can find the exit. There. What do you mean? The. The. What? Are you talking about the door that I went through that closed on me? Yeah. I could totally go through that door, dude. Letting 106 catch and teleport you? I don't think that's what you have to do, though. I need to help. Are 
things. There's no way they force you to deal with... They, there's no way they force you to do that. This is getting pretty annoying, guys, I gotta say. This doctor is just permanently chasing me now. Like, he just never leaves you alone. How you're supposed to lock them in the metal chambers when you can't even close the door. I can make a save after Larry grabs me, I guess, but I feel like that's a bad idea. Can he not get me here? Thank <laughs> you. 